They may be looking for the sun, for the solar eclipse. <laughs> it's right over there. They're going to the sun. <laughs> wow, good morning, everyone. Hey, guess what today is? Total solar eclipse day. So, Sandy bought my wife bought me these glasses. So like the sun is actually behind what you behind you. And I can look at it without any effort. It doesn't hurt my eyeballs. Uh, however, walking around I can't see a thing. She also bought this for my iPhone camera. And I'll have the, the camera that I'm recording on uh, recording, the one that you're seeing me right now. And I'll have my hand cell phone. There has been, we're, we're in the direct path, that, that little path that if you've seen it on uh, videos uh, building up to this, we're in the direct path of it. So that's pretty cool. We'll just be out back of our house videoing uh, that our, our view will be uh, like southwest. So we'll have a, a perfect view for later this afternoon. It's quarter of eight this morning. Eight, uh, 7.44, something like 7.45. It's due at 3.30 this afternoon. Uh, is supposed to be the like the total when, when it's perfect. Uh, boy, I almost have to wear those, uh, gla these glasses. Um, there's another phenomenon happening besides the total eclipse that's supposed to happen this afternoon. And it started probably Friday sometime. Uh, traffic people from outside of this band that goes starts down in the United States starts down in Texas comes up through and goes up through Maine <coughs> excuse me um, people outside of that band are coming in to see it and hotels locally are booked they I, I heard some numbers that they're charging $1,500 US dollars a night for uh, a room and they're booked up. The, uh, the police locally, as well as down through this whole band, have hired on or, or brought in extra help for traffic control because they're, it's, we've already seen it picking up here in town. and. Uh, People, people have rented out their bedrooms. It's just kind of, just kind of bizarre for up here. We're, we're very local, pretty low key. And uh, so it's like a big, huge, like going to the Caledonia, Caledonia County Fair locally, that's a fair, uh, where it's just a big event. You know, it happens for three days and then everything goes back to what, what is perceived as normal. <laughs> So here we are at the stead. Old chicken coop, greenhouse, frost on the greenhouse. It's only, it's probably uh, 25 degrees Fahrenheit right now. It's not real hot. So um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else more significant. We're just getting ready. We'll have Kaya with us. Lauren's going to be out there and we're just going to try to get some good footage looking at the sun. I have the camera, this one running with the, the lens on here uh, just as a test. And I've zoomed it all the way in. That's pretty cool. I, there's quite a few trees over here in the way, so I don't know if that's affecting it. I can't wait for this afternoon to get it out. Get it out. Actually, once the sun gets up a little higher, uh, we'll have a good view of it. It's supposed to be a perfectly clear today, day today, no clouds, until about 3 o'clock. It looks like maybe a little bit of clouds coming in. Hopefully, I don't think it'll be uh, in the way. It better not be. <laughs> so I stop down in town here just for a minute. Usually, there might be two or three cars. <laughs> in each direction, but it's backed up all the way down. It was backed up, seriously. The diner is full. We're outside waiting to get in. So 
pretty crazy for when they're done. Most of the cars in the parking lot are not Vermont cars. Pretty cool. Here we are at Pettico. Oh boy, wow. People are tailgating party. What? <laughs> They've got that's not a real good spot to watch from, but that's all right. Okay, heading home. We are set up as well as can be. It's two o'clock right now. The estimated time of total eclipse is 3.30, so another hour and a half. Um, Sandy says, my wife says, uh, around 2.15, the moon will start coming in on the sun. I can't even see the moon right now, I guess because it's so close to the sun, so I can't even see it. We're, and I, you know, very, being very careful not to look at the sun, just kind of block it out and take a quick look. But I haven't seen the moon all day long, so it must, must be it's tailing the, kind of the same, pretty close to the same speed. So we are set up. Uh, I'm hoping. I'm hoping I can put the drone up, and maybe get a look down uh, at the ground and just see if there's an effect of darkness coming in or something. So hopefully that will work. I'm going to try this. I don't know if it'll do anything. I want to send the drone up and see if it can pick up. Any, any shadowing effect uh, as the moon comes in front of the sun. So here we go. There's just a tiny little wow. sliver left. <laughs> just a tiny huh? sliver. You can see it's kind of darker, darker, shadowy, shadow yeah. the word. It's hard to tell on camera, but it looks weird. Huh. It's just one little slice of sun, and yet it's still daylight, kind of. It's 327. We were, I believe it was 328 to 330 that it was supposed to be total eclipse. Wow. Oh, almost. Almost completely. I want to look at it. Can I look? <laughs> I can see a wow. star. It is look dark. Look at the sunset. Look at, oh wow. It's 3.30 p.m. That is beautiful. Look at the darkness. Holy smokes. Oh, I can't see it now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that's <laughs> That's incredible. Oh, and there's a star. You can see a star? Oh, I am lo I'm looking at I'm looking at it. Oh my. Let's take a look. <laughs> my neighbor's howling. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good guy. Wow. That is just amazing. This is so weird. Wow. Yeah! <laughs> Look at that. Wonder what's showing up on the, the camera. Hey, where's the, where'd it go? Oh, you can't see it. Yeah, because of the... Uh... Right, it's so dark, you can't see.
Oh, Lauren, look, look at this. It's starting to get brighter. Wow. So, is it safe to look at? Yeah, if it's dead center. Yeah, it still is. Look at that. That's the moon. Right there. In wow. front of the sun. Wow. And a star. Still blurry with the bare camera and the other cam oh, there's a bug on the screen. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's peeking out. Yeah, be careful. <laughs> that is just crazy. Wow. Huh. That's incredible. <laughs> God's it's just that's a little much. But God's miracle, he just set this all in place. It's incredible. Just that little bit of sun <laughs> gives us this much light. Amazing. That is, it's just amazing. <laughs> This is almost like building a model railroad train. It's just so much fun. <laughs> Did you notice if the birds or anything got quieter? No, they were still going. Yeah. They didn't hold up. They still sang. Whoops, I don't need those. Look at you. <laughs> it did get colder. It did cool off a bit. The wind didn't pick up though here. We're pretty surrounded by trains.
I hope you enjoyed this. We weren't really building anything. This was great. I love it. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.